Do you know EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques? I've compiled 10 of the most powerful tapping techniques here in this video. And if you need a refresher or instructions, just go to EFTTappingTechniques.com, fill in your name and email, and I'll send you a free EFT manual. In this video, I'll share some advanced EFT procedures. I'll show you 10 ways to get more results from your tapping, powerful ways to combine EFT with the Law of Attraction for a more abundant life. And I'm going to go pretty fast here, so feel free to stop the video, take notes, or watch it again. Who am I? I'm Natalie Hill, an EFT practitioner and trainer, crazy about photography, and currently I'm living in Tucson, Arizona. But by the time you see this video, I may be living in Mexico or Nicaragua or Brazil. I'm about to pull up my roots and head out on an adventure. And I thrive on teaching others what I've learned. That's why I made this video. Ready for your first tip? tune into your body. This is one of the simplest and most powerful of the EFT techniques. When you're feeling an emotion, it's what you feel in your body that informs you about the emotion. Notice what you're feeling in your body. Tap while you're tuned into that sensation. You can simply notice while tapping or use words to describe what you feel while tapping. Here's an example. Let's say you're feeling a pressure in your chest. Notice the feeling while tapping the points. Or name aloud what you feel. At each point you could say, this pressure in my chest, this pressure in my chest. Tip number two, ask yourself. Often, when we want to feel better, we want to feel better so much that the last thing we consider doing is taking the time to really look inside and ask what's going on. But the payoff for doing that can be big. So here's what you do. Get quiet, tune in, and ask inside about your issue. Here's some questions you can ask. You can say, what's up? What information do you have for me? And listen to the answers. Whatever answers you get, use them as tapping phrases. Tip number three, argue. When we're blocked, it's often because internally we lack congruence. There's an argument going on inside, and you can use EFT to let it out. Tapping on both sides of the inner conflict can bring in more clarity and insight. The process is to let yourself argue the issue from two perspectives. You can argue from a compassionate, then a critical perspective. We're usually pretty good about the critical one. You can argue the pro and con of an option, the yes and no of a decision. Here's an example of letting the nurturing, then the critical parts of you speak. You might hear the nurturing side say, I'm so proud of you. I trust your wisdom and intelligence. I love you no matter what. And then the critical side, you're such a loser. You think you can do this? Don't even try it. It's too risky. Tip number four, refuse to change. In this tip, you argue just one side of an issue, the side refusing to change. Often there's a part of us that refuses to change for any number of reasons. It could be like the child inside tired of being told what to do, or a part keeping us safe by refusing to change. Here are some examples of what you can say in refusal tapping. You can say, I refuse to change. I don't even want to change. It wouldn't be safe to change. I'm not changing. You can't make me change. I don't have to and you can't make me. Tip number five. It's all about safety. One way to view our, the way our psyche operates is to see our thoughts and emotions as efforts to keep us safe. Our most basic and primitive need is to survive. And the part that's keeping us safe doesn't care if we publish our book, get that promotion, make a great speech, or start a new business. It just wants you alive. Look at the iceberg photo. The part above the water represents the conscious mind. The part abo uh, below the water, the subconscious mind. Which part is bigger and stronger? That's why we need to get those two parts in alignment so we don't sabotage our dreams with the unconscious. Here's how you do it. Start this sentence and listen to, listen to what comes up. I won't be safe if I fill in the blank with your proposed activity because then listen for what comes up and use those statements to tap on. When I recently used this method I was really surprised at what came up. I said I won't be safe if I get rid of all my stuff because and then I heard your stuff is part of you. You won't be safe without your stuff. Who will you be without your stuff? While tapping on those phrases a memory popped up for me. 
I've done a fair amount of backpacking, bike, and kayaking trips, carrying, pedaling, or paddling everything I needed. And in those situations, I had a wonderful feeling of freedom, self-sufficiency, and simplicity. That's the feeling I want when letting go of all my stuff. So I tapped on those feelings and felt a whole lot better. Tip number six, just tap. Tapping your meridian points helps move energy around your mind and body and balance your energy and organ systems. It also helps resolve any unconscious programs that are running, and everything we have yet to resolve is continually running. So tapping is good for you. You can tap while waiting, sitting, walking, falling asleep, watching TV, with or without words. Just tap. Tip number seven, get out the roots. A lot of the time, if you're tapping on an issue and it's not working, it's because you're not tapping on the real issue. Today's issue triggered something deeper and older than today, often from childhood. A clue that you've triggered something deeper is a super strong emotional reaction, an overreaction. So tap on the early memories of the same emotion. Ask yourself the following questions to discover and clear the roots. How do you reach those roots? When's the first time I remember feeling this way? When's the earliest time I remember this feeling? What does this remind me of? And then tap on those early events that you were reminded of. Tip number eight, stealth tapping. Often we are most triggered when we're around other people. We get triggered at work, with our families, and in any relationship. But you can't tap at the business meeting or at the dinner table or in a heated discussion. So how can you benefit from EFT when you can't tap? Stealth tapping to the rescue. Here's how. Tap on your fingers under the table. You tap on the outer edge of the thumbnail and then on the outer edge of the other fingers. Tapping on the top of the hand between the last two knuckles is especially beneficial if you're feeling anxiety. So as long as you're feeling upset, just keep tapping your fingers under the table. Tip number nine appreciation tapping. You are creating your future with your vibration. Your thoughts and emotions create your vibration. However you're feeling, you're likely to attract more of the same. So it's really beneficial to feel good, so you attract more good stuff. When you feel appreciation while tapping the meridian points, it helps anchor that feeling of appreciation in your body. How do you do appreciation tapping? You pick something to appreciate. It can be absolutely anything. From large to small, you can appreciate the universe, our planet, your city, your house, your kitchen, your pots, or even a single bowl. It's not the thing that you appreciate that's important, it's the vibe that you're creating. Here's an example. I'll appreciate my bowl. I appreciate the shape, how long it's lasted. I really like the colors. It feels so good in my hand. I've had many delicious meals from this bowl. It has stayed whole and solid all these years. I appreciate the artist who designed and created this bowl. This is one of my favorite bowls. Tip number 10, what if tapping? Sometimes we get stuck because we can't see anything except what's right in front of us. It's hard to create a wonderful future when you're basing it on the present and the present isn't so great. This will help you imagine and attract more of what you want in your life. It helps improve your vibration. Here's how you do it. You start your EFT phrases with, what if, and you put in your imagined future. Wouldn't it be nice if, and again, your positive imagined future, or I'm looking forward to, and insert your future. Here are all the 10 tapping techniques that you've learned in this video. I hope you've enjoyed these 10 EFT tapping tips. Leave a comment and let us know how you liked them. And come to visit me at EFTTappingTechniques.com. Thanks for watching.